Well, I've got some special guests in the studio today joining me. So they are from Tyree College, but I've got Bridget Hughes. Bridget, hello and welcome to the show. Hi, thanks Regan. It's nice to be here. Bridget, just tell us why are you guys here and you know, what's, what's your role in all of this? Um, basically, I've been privileged to be their teacher and facilitate uh, the All Writing Program, which is our Turbo Writers. I've got three amazing students here with me today to share with you about this project. Um, and their names are Dylan McDonald and Tom Cunningham and Sophie Thorburn. They're all from my class, 7HU. Big shout out to 7HU. Excellent. And hey, thanks very much, all of you, for, for joining me. So we're just going to get underway with some questions. Um, you guys have been looking at the Tyree Aquatic Centre. Now, people on the Tyree are obviously familiar with this. This is this $15 million development. They want to have four pools. So I'm just going to put it out there. So the first question is, what inspired you guys to do the project about the pool? We are part of the Accelerated Literacy Learning Programme. Um, from Tari College. In term two, we um, started a persuasive writing with Mrs Hughes on a local topic about the pool. We fir first focused on why the mosquito needed a new pool and then we changed our focus to which site was better, site A or site B. Then we focused on why we should support the Tari Community Facilities Trust. When we explored this Topic. We came up with ideas to help the rate, to help fundraise for the 7.5 million donation. Um, we thought the Tari College would do a Mufti Day, but then we realised it would only raise one thousand dollars. So we decided to do a Tari wide Mufti Day on Wednesday, the first of November, as a pool party theme. We contacted schools, early childhood centres, aged care providers and Mosquito Business Man's Associate, Association to help raise for the cause. Well done. What a fantastic idea because one of the keys is to try and get buy-in from the entire community for this project. So that's a fantastic idea. And let's face it, every kid likes to go to school in Mufti, don't they? Don't they, guys? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And a pool party. What a great pool party thing. What a great concept. So what does that mean? They have to wear togs? No, not quite. <laughs> I'm getting very strange looks. <laughs> All right, so what have you learned during your research, guys? Well, during our research, um, we found out that the existing pool was over 80 years old and most pools have a maximum life of 50 years. Site A was the preferred site over Site B because there are more positives and less impacts about that site. $7.5 million needs to be raised by March by March next year in order for the Dunedin City Council to commit $6 million. The existing pool does not meet the needs of our community or our growing population. We also learned about the Tyra Community Facilities Trust and interviewed Irene Mosey, the chairperson of the Trust. Wonderful, and um, that's a great thing too. So what do you see as the key issues about the pool project? Uh, some key issues about supporting the um pool project is supporting the Tyree Community Facilities Trust and getting community backing for the mammoth task of raising $7.5 million. This, this pool project will have something for everyone. It must have four pools that are a lane, leisure, learning and hydrotherapy for the elderly. As Mosgill is growing population, it needs, has to have the needs of the community now and in the future. Addressing the issues from Site A is the relocation of the caravan park and the skate ramps. The alternative field space from the loss of the sports grounds will need to be in Maine. Fantastic. And Bridget, just a question for you. So these three, they're doing, obviously, they're on this radio show, so it's awesome to have you guys here. But, boy, you guys were at the public meeting if I'm correct, and you spoke in front of that. Um, you must be very proud. Yes, I'm incredibly proud of these three students in particular. It's no easy feat to stand up um, in the public um, domain and deliver the content that they did, as well as speaking here live on the radio. I'm really proud of the progress they've made as writers, and it's just gone beyond writing and the extra experiences they're picking up. 
Uh, we're just thrilled to get in behind a community project and actually make it more meaningful and do what we can for the community. We're really focused on um, having that tiree wide pool party theme throughout the businesses, the aged care providers, schools, early childhood centres, so in general public, you know, first of November, dress up, go wild, let's see a few lays around. Yeah, absolutely, and I just want to encourage you guys as well, I've spent basically my whole life as a writer, and the wonderful thing about writing, particularly when you're gathering facts and information, it can be very persuasive, because a lot of people can be misinformed. And they have perceptions, but they don't actually know what's happened in the history or the past, you know, the reality of it. So really encourage, and I love that name, Turbo Writers, that's fantastic. So guys, just finally, what conclusions have you been able to draw so far? I can conclude that the community want the pool. So if the community want the pool, they need to get involved and help raise the money. On Wednesday the 1st of November, as I said before, we're going to do the pool party themed Mufti Day. Um, if you would like to raise help raise more money, you could also do a sausage sizzle. And if Moscow, if everyone in Moscow gives a little, then we can raise quite a lot of money. Absolutely. And the good news, guys, is there are people out there in our community who are jumping on board. They are coming up with fundraising ideas and this will happen more and more. The Trust itself has got some pretty amazing fundraising ideas, so literally watch this space because when it comes out, you'll be like, oh, wow, one has never been done in New Zealand before, never. And I think once that announcement comes out, hopefully in the next wee while, you guys will probably be like, wow, that's a cool concept. So the good news too is that from that $7.5 million, the community, as you might remember from the public meeting, needs to raise about two to two and a half. And I think that's achievable. And wouldn't it be awesome, Togs on November 2019? That'll be great. Thank you very much for all of you guys for coming in. I really appreciate that. Thanks, Thank you. Regan. Thank you. Thank you.